Welcome back guys to another episode of Kuham Tutorials with Everything Design. Today we learn how to render a video. First we click on render and we have here two options, normal video render or video template. I will show you how to edit the video template in another video. In the normal video rendering page you will have the same panel with the resolutions and lights. To start, click on edit camera path. This page will appear and this is where you will create your video. On the top here we have three different lenses, straight, curved and vertical. Let's try the first one, left press on the mouse to drag into position and click again to release. You will have a preview on this panel to see how it looks. As you can see the camera moves according to the path you set. Please make sure to set the duration of your clip because you can only create videos up to 30 seconds. To get the most out of the video, change the speed of your clips here so you can get few seconds for different clips. You can change the angle, set a start point, end point, and adjust the position here. The focus lens is useful if you want the camera to focus on an object while moving. For example, if you focus on the plant, the camera will move while keeping the plant as the main object. Clipping helps you get a wider view if you get blocked by a wall or an object. Click on either ends to drag to your desired position and create an angular viewpoint like this. Next, we will try the curved lens, same thing, just click and release. The center dot is to choose how you want the curve to look like. For the curved lens, it is best to set a focus lens with it so you can create great animation. As you can see, you can play with different combinations of position and height until you get your desired animation. Lastly, we will add a vertical lens which is just one dot that can move up and down or from bottom to top. Adjust it however you like and when you are done save it. You can check how all the lenses look together before you render. You can make changes too. If you are happy with how the video looks, choose the resolution and the light setting. Click render and enjoy your video. There you go, great video quality. I rendered this one to post it on social media so I choose the 916 ratio but you can of course change the aspect ratio if you want wider videos to post on YouTube or to show to your clients. Check our social media platforms to see more video renders. I will leave the links in the description box. I really hope this video was helpful. If you think it is, leave a like, share with friends, and if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below and make sure to subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.